Ahoy! Royal enthusiasts, brace yourself for some exciting news in the world of sailing and royalty. The winds of change are blowing through the Royal Thames Yacht Club, and it seems that they have their eyes set on none other than the fabulous Catherine, the Princess of Wales. But hold your anchors, King Charles must give the green light for this to happen. The prestigious club, after bidding farewell to Prince Andrew in 2021, had the patronage passed on to the newly crowned King Charles. However, the whispers in the sea breeze suggest that the club has its heart set on Catherine for their new Commodore. And why not? The princess has proven herself to be an ardent sailing enthusiast, and she rocks the boat like no other. Just this week, the Royal Thames Yacht Club launched a fantastic event, aptly titled Women Who Rock the Boat. Their aim to encourage more women to embrace the salty air and the thrilling adventures of sailing. And who better to lead this charge than the radiant Princess of Wales herself? A senior member of the club hinted at Catherine being a phenomenal role model for all aspiring sailors. But here's the catch. Ladies and gentlemen of the high seas, the club's hands are tied. They can't simply approach the palace with a suggestion. According to royal protocol, it's up to Catherine and the rest of the royal family to hoist the flag and signal their approval for this exciting new role. However, if recent events are anything to go by, we might see Catherine raising her sail to this opportunity. Back in July 2022, the princess dazzled the crowd as she made a splash at the Global Sailing Championships in Plymouth. Teaming up with 1851 Trust and the Great Britain Sail GP team, she showed off her sailing prowess and even had time to bond with some young sailing enthusiasts. Carnegie Bedlow, a brave 12-year-old from St Hillier in Jersey, shared his encounter with a radiant royal. I was a little bit nervous, but she did what I told her, and she was very good. She asked me if I was interested in sailing. I do sailing camp in the summer. I love the ocean. Clearly, Catherine's passion for sailing is infectious, and it's easy to see why she would make an excellent role model for aspiring sailors of all ages. If that wasn't enough to make you want to set sail with her, picture this, a thrilling sailing race against New Zealand. In an adrenaline-pumping video posted on her and William's Instagram account, the princess looked like she was born to navigate the high seas. Joined by Sir Ben Ainsley and the GB crew, she was all smiles as they sliced through the waves during the Commonwealth race at Sail GP Plymouth. Catherine's dedication to sailing goes back to 2014 when she was appointed as patron of the 1851 Trust, the charitable arm of the British Challenger's bid to win the 35th America's Cup. Her words on the occasion reflect her genuine love for the sport and her desire to inspire future generations. I am delighted to be royal patron of the 1851 Trust. I feel very fortunate to have enjoyed sailing from a young age and I know it is a great way of providing young people with the opportunity to develop skills and confidence. Now, with all these sailing achievements under her belt, we can't help but wonder, will the Royal Thames Yacht Club make her their new Commodore? Only time will tell if King Charles will give the green light to this delightful proposition. So, let's raise our mask to Catherine, the Princess of the Waves. As we eagerly await her decision, we can be certain that her passion for sailing will continue to inspire countless sailors, young and old alike. Keep an eye on the horizon, folks, for the winds of change may bring us a thrilling new chapter in Catherine's seafaring adventures.